I'm going to start doing movie reviews. This is the first movie I've rented in 20 years from a library. I recently got a library card for the first time in 20 years. So I'm behind movies about six years as far as theater going. I don't do it regularly. And the store stopped rentals two years ago because people wouldn't pay for their late fees. So with that being said, let's start a new series where I review movies regardless of how old or new they are to you. They are new to me. This is The Girl on the Train. It stars Emily Blunt. And I think she's slowly becoming one of my favorites. Over the years, she's definitely become a favorite because she blends so beautifully into different time eras. It's almost as if she was born in the 1800s or 1900s or something. She just blends beautifully. Now, this particular movie, uh, it had a good surprise ending that no one saw coming. And when I said that to the librarian, she was like, did you read the book? Did you know the ending before? And I was like, no, I didn't know it was a book. And uh, so I think that's cool that even after reading the book, that she didn't even know the ending was going to be that way. I'm not going to spoil it for you, but it's been out for years, so I'll tell you, it was her husband. Dun, dun, dun. Or her ex-husband, whatever. I don't know. See, I don't even remember, but the rem the movie was good. I'd buy it. I would absolutely buy it. That's why I took a picture of it, so that I would remember it. The whole idea is she's an alcoholic, I guess, but only because her husband is abusive and trying to make her think she's crazy. But, oh, I did know the one other actress in it, the Phoebe from Friends. I don't know her name, but the blonde Phoebe or whatever from uh, Friends. You know the dun 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 Friends show? Uh, she was uh, his wife. She was the Emily Blunt's character husband's wife. No, okay, boss. Okay, what was it? Emily Blunt is married to this guy, and this woman played by Phoebe from Friends, that's her husband's boss's wife. That's, that's what I was trying to say here, I guess. So they meet on a train after Emily's character uh, ignores her tries to avoid her because she thinks that she made an ass out of herself at one of her parties and she didn't it'll be proven at the end of the movie when or not at the end of the movie on the train when they talk she starts to apologize for being drunk because she's in a, a program to recover for it now and she said your husband was the asshole he couldn't keep his dick in his pants or something and i thought that was hilarious and she said, you did nothing wrong. And then she starts to get flashbacks of what really happened because she's kind of sobering up now. It's just a fantastic movie. If you haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. Emily Blunt, I rec I've seen two movies of hers now this year, and I can't remember what the other one was, but I should do a review on it again. Oh, The Quiet Ones. You know what? I might as well sna slap that on here. Quiet Ones was not that great. But Emily Blunt made it great. It was kind of good. And I don't like pregnant women movies. But uh, I guess that's kind of what you could call that. Um, the aliens that hear sound and kill. All sound, making sound things. It wasn't terrible. But it was also not that great of an ending. It was kind of like we need a sequel or something. And... Those kind of movies, you don't want those kind of sequels. You just you just don't want sequels. But uh, this one, scratch that one out. This one was amazing. Go see it. Go rent it. Go buy it. Own it. Have it in your home. It's fantastic. Uh, it's, 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 got, it's got a lot of stuff in it. It's got alcoholism. It's got spousal abuse. It's got sex. It's got... Uh, mystery it's got uh you, you guess the ending and everything you can't guess the end i'm good at guessing movie endings and i swear to god i was gonna say that this was her husband's jealous ex or the whore that that by the way looks a little bit like the hunger games chick what's her name uh oh god it's so t oh what is her name oh no I can't think of her name. What's her name? Uh, Kristen? No. What's it? Uh, Julie. 
Jeremiah, Coconut, Biscuit, uh, Jennings, Jesser, Jessa, what's her name? I'm just going to rant on here, trying to think of um, Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence. It looks like her, but I don't think it is her. But if you like Jennifer Lawrence, go see this movie, because there's a lady in there that's a prostitute, whore, slut type person that kind of looks like her. And I shouldn't be cussing in these, but you know what? Sometimes you need to do that in a review. And so I'm going to end this. I'm definitely going to review a lot of other ones. But I didn't get pictures of a DVD like case. I'm just going to have to Google search an image for the rest of these. But I would like to do movie reviews for the other movies that I've rented so far. Uh, Jungle was freaking amazing. Daniel Radcliffe. I can't wait to do a review on that one. That was freaking like watching Naked and Afraid. Um, survivalist uh, Jungle. I don't know. It was fantastic. I'd never even heard of it. I just saw it, grabbed it on impulse, and boy, I was very happy I did, because it was the best one. Uh, Natalie Portman, I'm sorry, I will not be doing a review on your movie, uh, what was it, Exhibition, or Extinct, not Extinction, or Evolution, I don't know what it was, but it was terrible. I fell asleep three times, and so, <sighs> not gonna do it, Natalie Portman, I'm sorry, an all-woman cast that nobody knows except for Natalie Portman, and it sucked. Sorry. Just, it was terrible. This was definitely by far one of the best movies I've seen in years. So, we're going to end that on a high note. Go watch Emily Blunt, The Girl on the Train. It's fantastic. And I will see you next time for another movie review. Bye-bye.